Okay, in this video we will discuss equivalent one body problem. Suppose we have two point masses. This is M1, mass M1 and this is mass M2 which are separated by a distance R or the R vector is this one and suppose we have an origin here and the distance from origin O to mass M2 is R2 and the distance from origin to mass M1 is R1 so the direction is here now by head to tail rule of vector addition we have R2 plus R is equal to R1 R2 plus R is equal to R1 or from this we can write R is equal to R1 minus R2 now according to Newton these are two forces okay two masses okay and if two masses are separated by a distance r from each other then there is a force of attraction between these two masses which is given by force of gravity which is equal to g m1 m2 over r square now according to newton third law mass m1 exert a force on mass m2 and similarly mass m2 exert a force on mass m1 so if F12 is the force exerted by mass M2 on M1 and F21 is the force exerted by mass M1 on M2. Now, according to Newton, third law, these two forces will be equal in magnitude. F12 is equal to F21, but opposite in direction. The negative signs show that these two forces are in opposite direction. Let's. This is equation one, and this is equation number two. So the force F21 is this one in the force F12 is this one the direction now there is if we suppose that there is some external force acting on this system two body system F external then this external force will be applied on this one and also be acted on this particle also so if I say that F1 external F1 external is the external force acting on M1 and F2 external is the external force acting on M2 then the total force acting on M1 mass M1 is is the sum of two forces now one is F1 external plus F12 internal and we know that force is equal to MA produce acceleration so this will be equal to MR double dot so if it's mass M1 so we have M1 and the distance is R1 and we have double dot so this is the acceleration in mass M1 and uh, we can write m1 r1 double dot is equal to f21 the force exerted f12 sorry the force exerted by mass 2 on mass m1 plus f1 external we have this equation which is equation number 3 S similarly for mass m2 the total forces will be M2 R2 double dot which will be equal to two sum of two forces one is F21 and the other one is F2 external this is equation number 4 now multiply equation 3 by M2 and 4 by M1 if we multiply it we get 
एम वन एम टू आर वन डबल डॉट विच इज इक्वल टू एम टू एफ टू एफ एफ वन टू प्लस एम टू एफ वन एक्सटर्नल दिस इज इक्वेजन नंबर फाइव एंड सेमिलरली मल्टीप्लाई इक्वेजन फोर बाय एम वन वी हैव एम वन एम टू आर टू डबल डॉट विच इज इक्वल टू एम वन एफ टू वन प्लस एम वन एफ टू एक्सटर्नल दिस इज इक्वेजन नंबर सिक्स नॉ सब्रेक्ट इक्वेजन सिक्स फ्रॉम फाइव वी हैव एफ वी सेप्रेक वी गेट दिस इज एम वन एम टू आर वन डबल डॉट एंड देन वी हैव माइनस एम वन एम टू आर टू डबल डॉट विच इज इक्वल टू एम टू एफ वन टू माइनस एम वन एफ टू वन प्लस एम टू एफ वन एक्सटर्नल माइनस एम वन एफ टू एक्सटर्नल इफ वी री राइट दिस इक्वेजन वी हैव दिस वन वी हैव दिस एक्सप्रेशन इफ वी री राइट एट वी हैव दिस रिलेशन we have m1 m2 common in this both factors so we have r1 double dot minus r2 double dot is equal to m2 f12 minus m1 f21 plus m2 f1 external minus m1 f2 external but we know that f12 is equal to minus f21 so if we put it here we get and also r is equal to r1 minus r2 if we take double derivative of this position vector r then we have r1 double dot minus r2 double dot so this will be equal to m1 m2 into r double dot from this expression we put it here which is equal to m2 f12 and we have minus m1 f21 is equal to minus f12 so we have plus m1 f12 and we have plus we have this two factor so i will keep m1 m2 as constant so here i have f1 external or m1 minus f2 external or m2 so or we can write m1 m2 or double dot is equal to m1 plus m2 because f1 to is common here so we have f1 to plus m1 m2 f1 external or m1 minus f2 external or m2 now f1 external acting on mass m1 will produce acceleration a1 similarly if f2 external force acting on mass m2 then it will produce acceleration a2 or in other word we can say that f1 external or mass m1 is equal to r1 double dot for acceleration i have r1 double dot and i bring this m1 to this side and f2 external or mass m2 is equal to r2 double dot so this is the acceleration in mass m1 and this is acceleration in mass m2 now the body is a rigid body the body is rigid if it's a rigid body 
then if this mass move with acceleration a1 and this mass move with acceleration a2 what it means it means that both masses move at same acceleration so a1 is equal to a2 because rigid bodies suppose we have a ball and we divide the ball into two parts but they are still a part of the same ball so both part will move the, with the same acceleration so a1 is equal to a2 uh, r1 double dot is equal to r2 double dot so from this we can write f1 over m1 external okay is equal to r1 double dot and this r1 double dot is equal to r2 double dot which is equal to f2 external over m2 now from this we can write f1 external over m1 is equal to f2 external over m2 now from this we can write f1 external over m1 minus f2 external over m2 is equal to 0 let's say this is equation 7 and this is equation number 8 now using equation 8 equation 8 and 7 if we put this factor here then this factor will goes to 0 and we left with m1 m2 r double dot is equal to m1 plus m2 into f1 2 ah we can write f12 is equal to m1 m2 over m1 plus m2 into r double dot but f12 is equal to minus f21 which is equal to i will call them s force f so we have this force f which will be equal to m1 m2 over m1 plus m2 into r double dot or we can write f1 to f, f is equal to m1 m2 over m1 plus m2 into r double dot which is equal to mu times r double dot where mu is equal to m1 m2 over m1 plus m2 and it's called effective or reduced mass effective or reduced mass now we have two body problem this is mass m1 and this is mass m2 they are separated by distance r which is here now the origin is here we have this r2 and we have this distance is r1 the center of mass these of these two particles let's suppose lie here so this is the center of mass and this is the position of center of mass from the origin okay then this position vector r is can be written as m1 r1 plus m2 r2 over m1 plus m2 so this is the position vector now if m1 is very greater than m2 suppose this mass is bigger than this one then mu can be written as this effective mass can be written as m2 over 1 plus m2 over m1 uh, this can be written as m2 over 1 which is m2 so mu is equal to m2 and r can be written as r1 over m2 plus r2 over m1 which is equal to r1 over m2 plus 0 because m1 is very large uh, r is equal to r1 over m2 but m2 is very very small so if we divide r1 by m2 then the result will be 
R1. Now this shows that, this shows that in equation of motion we can essentially replace the reduced mass with smaller mass, like the reduced mass will be replaced with the smaller mass because M2 is very small. And the center, mass, center of mass shift to towards the bigger mass. So if we deal with two or more than two bodies, we essentially replace all the mass by reduced mass of the same system. So we will replace the, all the masses by this reduced mass of the system. So this is all about uh, equivalent one body problem. Thank you.